Well, they didn't know I was flying till long after I'd been flying. Uh, they wouldn't even let me drive the car. But I was sure flying my pants off, I'll tell you that. I was about 16 years of age, went to the airport. One day Roscoe Turner came in. I grabbed a rag and started wiping off his windshield. And he came out and boy, he was a, a big man. He said, would you like to sit in the cockpit? I knew from that day on exactly what I wanted to do. But unfortunately, when I took my first lesson at 16, I was air sick every time I flew. And once I soloed, then I started, I uh, asked somebody to teach me how to do aerobatics. There wasn't anybody around that knew anything about aerobatics. So I'd just be more daring and I'd pull up and, and go over and come down and keep going up steeper and steeper until finally I was doing loops. Each one of those maneuvers I would keep doing until I got over the nausea. My first ride in, in flying school was by an instructor by the name of Bart Renault, and we were flying Stearmans. And so he said, uh, would you like to see a roll? And I said, yes, sir. And so he did a roll. And he said, would you like to try it? And I said, yes, sir. He said, where'd you learn how to do that? And I said, I taught myself. He says, what else can you do? And I said, well, I can, I can stop the roll in four different positions. And he said, show me. And I did. He said, well, what else can you do? I said, well, I can do it eight times. I can stop it eight times. And he said, come on now, what else? And I said, well, how about 16 times? And he went in to see the commandant. And he said, sir, I've got a student that uh, I, he said, I can't believe it. And he said, well, just wash him out. And he said, you don't understand. He can fly better than I can or anybody on this airfield. I was selected to be in charge of 67 fighter pilots at 20 years of age. And we all went over to England and we flew Spitfires. And then when we invaded North Africa, I was still in charge of the 67 pilots, and off we went to Africa. Because of my experience, I was the first selected, and I thought, oh boy, I'm going right into combat again. And they said, you got so much experience, we're going to bring airplanes overseas in crates, and you're going to fly them, check them out, and uh, make sure they're ready for combat after they've been assembled. And I was terribly disappointed but it turned out to be the best experience that could ever happen to me. And that led to a lot of experience and mishaps that you, probably most pilots would never get in a whole lifetime because, uh, well, belly landings were routine. Uh, and we were flying so many different types of airplanes that have battle damaged bombers. And so I would take those up and make sure they were uh, repaired properly and, and uh, flying okay. And I had to bail out two bomber crews because of mishaps and uh, managed to, to get both airplanes on the ground by myself. And I flew the first 60 Mustangs that came into Africa. I got in 59 combat missions before getting shot down. 